What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC and today I have a Amazon package that I just received. I want to say this might be, my guess is it may be coming from a company that reached out to me via IG. And by the way, if you're a knife company and you want to send some knives for me to check out here on the channel, do unboxings, feature videos and reviews and stuff like that, you can hit me up on Instagram. Just slide into the DMs and let me know what you got going on. But yeah, I believe this one's coming from a company that reached out to me via Instagram. And since it's been a few over the last couple of weeks, I'm not exactly sure which one. We're about to find out together. You may already know based on the title and thumbnail. Just know I'm going a little bit blind going in. And I do want to share that experience, the experience with you guys. So doing the honors today, we have the Vosteed Nightshade. This one is a premium version with the LMAX stone wash finish going on. Bolster, titanium bolsters and jade g10 this one will be linked in the description just like any other knife you see in this video including the one here in the package of course and it does help out the channel when you use those links but that is entirely up to you without further ado we're not going to waste any more time let's go ahead and slice right here shall we which was effortlessly executed with a nice shade by the way and boom look at that all right vastid i do remember them reaching out to me about this knife and uh yeah you guys already know by the title and thumbnail but this is gonna be a treat right here they view in the channel uh this model here so i'm glad i you <laughs> coincidentally enough i'm carrying the uh big version of the nice shade and also the mini version as well which is pretty cool and we're about to check out another Vastid. Vastid is a knife company to do a killer job with all their models. This one here is specifically the Corgi Pup. Corgi Pup. So they have a full size version of the Corgi and the Pup I believe is a smaller version of that knife. S35VN so that's a premium steel. Satin finish pretty good. Let's go ahead and get into it shall we? So we'll use the smaller knife shade this time the mini nice shade to open up here and let's see what we have going on all right open it up here bada beam bada boom whoa everything came out all at once <laughs> so in the box we have of course a knife we have the corgi sticker right there check that out the vasti support all right the contact info and you should uh check out vosteed on instagram as well so you can stay on top of all their knife drops and things like that and we have the how to maintain warranty information all that good stuff safety guidelines you guys can pause right there if you want to read through that you're more than welcome to and then we have the knife itself check this thing out zipper pouch going on here we have the velcro section with the little logo there you can move your velcro stickers everywhere you want which is pretty cool right that's awesome that they do it that way and inside of the pouch we have the knife itself which i'm excited for and we have a busted cleaning cloth which they do a really good job including one every single knife and it's also pretty good quality as well so that's that they got the busted orange on the inside and get that out of the way as well and here is the knife ladies and gentlemen check this thing out holy smokes so yeah the corgi pop smaller version of the corgi let's go ahead and check this thing out we have the first things first we have the sort of milled g10 this one is autumn or not g10 but autumn the the pp color <laughs> as uh tri-state edc would say and uh right off the bat i can see that there are some lines milled into the ultimate there for additional grip so that gives it a good grippy surface the autumn looks pretty good by the way in my opinion check that out the thing about the corgi that's so elegant is the fact that the blade tucks in completely into the handle which i think is really really cool that it does that it makes for such an elegant knife i feel like this smaller version is going to be pretty neat the fact that it is kind of on the small side which is cool without further ado let's get this thing open and then we'll keep talking through it but we have multiple deployment options it is a button lock it is a flipper deployment and a front flipper too so oh check that out All right let's get the action again yes this time with a little bit more attitude i tell you it opens effortlessly that's that's pretty good so effortless opening of the flipper tab let's do it with the button all right there it is with the button and this one comes pretty oil 
from the factory so this one is brand new out of the box right directly from Vosteed again shout out to Vosteed for the opportunity to check this one out and let's check out the front flipper all right front flipper is good I want to say maybe their detent I'm not sure if their detent is it's a little bit on the soft side but it does allow yeah a little bit on the soft side than what I'm used to but it does allow for that front flipper to be pretty effortless let's do the reach around all right Again, a little bit on the soft detent side of things. So when you are going to open it, you just want to give it the beans, and you should be okay. All right. So those are your three deployment options right there. Button, back flipper, and front flipper. And let's check out that blade right there. I'm going to give it a nice wipe because we are going to be using this guy. You bet this thing is going right into my pocket the second this video is over. And check it out, S35VN going on there on the steel. It has a flat grind going on, almost full flat grind. A little bit of a switch there for personality and a nice satin finish. It simply says Vosteed on one side and it says S35VN on the other side. So check that out. And ergonomics, let's, let's check that. So of course it is a smaller version of the Corgi. So uh, I have average hands, not the biggest of hands, not the smallest of hands, and I can pretty much get a full purchase on the knife. Uh, there's no forward choke option here or anything like that, so this is your standard grip, the hammer grip, your only grip, and of course you can put your thumb right here, there's no jimping, aside from the jimping required for the flipper tab, or front flipper if anything, but there's no other jimping in the blade, maybe that was intentional, maybe not, but uh, I do notice that right there. And check out the matching backspacers also in the Ultim. And we have a uh, sort of like a post or pin going on here for your lanyard folks out there, right? To do your lanyard attachments, if you will. And man, I mean, that's just, again, first things first, just the how elegant this one is. Very, very elegant, right, on the drop. It's pretty drop shutty. If I overcompensate, it will bounce off. So I'm gonna have to calibrate, calibrate how much beans I give it, <laughs> but uh, you gotta get the you get the idea right there. Very very smooth action, and check out that ball bearing, right? Really really sweet for you know pretty good drop shot action right there, just like so. So yeah, first impressions, really really good stuff. I did want to mention the pocket clip is pretty it's pretty long, right? It does take about maybe 70% of the handle overall it doesn't start way back here so it does make it so it's deep carry but a tad bit of the knife actually shows allows you to pinch and pull so that's nice and it is reversible right check out how vasti does their filler tabs just like on the raccoon here right you have a nice filler tab on the other side reversible pocket clip for my lefties out there and obviously with the button right you have a pretty ambidextrous knife right here i am using it with my left hand and instead of using my thumb, as I would with my right hand, I'm just going to use my index finger with my left hand, right? Everything else is as usual. Here's your revert, your back flipper, if you will. And the front flipper, which again, I'm not even all that trained with my left hand. And I'm making it happen. <laughs> all right, uh, check that out. Uh, my left hand, I promise you, I can do nothing. Typically, I can do absolutely nothing with my left hand and somehow... I'm managing to deploy this knife with every single deployment option it has with my left hand, no issues. So there you go. So yeah, very ambidextrous friendly knife. Without a doubt, this thing, holy smokes. I'm gonna tell you what, uh, right now, <laughs> I'm gonna say this right now, the second I show this to my wife, she's gonna love it and she's gonna wanna snatch it away from me. I can already see that happening right away. The great thing about this one is that Vosti just released a bunch of different colors, uh, especially some of them are February theme with hearts and pink and stuff like that, which again, I can see this knife being very popular for men as a secondary, uh, also an elegant carry or what have you, if you have to suit carry or what have you but also for women right women sometimes they like carrying smaller knives or at least my wife does and you know the fact that it is on those other colors right, i believe this one's available in a plethora of colors so definitely check the link down below uh, for this one 
I will be linking it for you guys to check it out. I'm not entirely sure on the price, but I do believe it's around the $60 price point or so. And you do have a premium steel on here, S35 VN. It's a premium steel. It's above 154 CM. And it's right there on the same category as S30V, S45 VN. So you're getting a good steel right here. Oof, this thing is really sharp and we're gonna test it during our scientific testing here in just a moment cutting some paper and cardboard but let's do some size comparisons really quick so there is the mini knife shade which compares to it quite a bit even though still smaller here's the full size knife shade all right so that's gonna be a little bit bigger check that out okay also on the smaller size of things check out the Vosteed chipmunk again this is another one of those small factor edcs from boss team they're they're doing an awesome job because they, even this one has so many deployment options flipper front flipper thumb studs on both sides awesome knife as well this one is in 14c28n so check it out right there another contender for that small size edc knife so you guys be the judge right there let me know let's do the raccoon which is uh, you know medium to large knife obviously a little bit bigger and if I had the full-size corgi I'll show you right it will be a little bit bigger than that and uh, let's just do the usual knives in reverse here's the CJRB pyrite right those are gonna be a little bit bigger knives and then I could go through the rest of them but I feel like you guys would just know that you know pretty much understand that uh, they're gonna be a little bit bigger right wrap model one wrap model two Demco 8020.5 and Shark Cub. Again, it's a Corgi Pup, right? Pup. So it's a mini version of the Corgi. And here is the Spider Co PM2 and Pair 3. So there you have it. Those are the typical ones that we use to compare here in the channel. And man, oh man. So yeah, very, very elegant knife. I'm surprised I haven't seen this one or checked this one out before. I'm glad that I am right now. Again, really digging the, the Altum. This is one of the first few knives in Altum that I have checked out. I know Altum has been the rage ever since the late portion of last year, 2023, and into the beginning of 2024, which is where we are now. Uh, just giving you some content context in case you're seeing this way in the future. Altum is uh, really catching off as a popular handle material. And yeah, you can see the holes right here from this side. Uh, it's a little bit of see-through material, if you will, which is pretty neat, right? Sort of adds a little bit more personality to the knife in case it was just your typical G10, which obviously isn't see-through. Even JG10, it's not see-through, right? Uh, so yeah, a little bit of transparency going on there. I like the fact that you have uh, the button lock here near the pivot, so it's not off-center. They take their, symmet their symmetry very, very serious. I like that. It makes for a very symmetric knife. Pocket clip is also in the middle. They didn't go off to one side or the other, so that was the right call. Yeah, symmetry is the name of the game here. And if you try to do what I just try to do there, right, and try to flip the knife the opposite way, then nothing will happen because, uh, yeah, it has to open one way and one way, and one way only. If you're a right-handed person, it's going to be pretty simple. You'll see the button facing you, so you know the knife is going to open from this angle, from the left side. If you're a lefty, right, you're going to get used to seeing the button on the opposite side accessible by your index, and therefore you're going to get used to gripping it that way for when you open it with your index finger too for that reverse, uh, you know, back flipper, if you will, or button lock. All right, so I feel like it's very intuitive, right? Very similar to the symmetry on the Best Tech Cricut that we just looked at as well, right? Very intuitive, very dummy proof, if anything. So you probably get it wrong once or twice, and you'll be like, okay, I get it now. And yeah, as far as flipping it, just give it the beans, because the D10 is a little bit soft, and then you're gonna get it snappy open every single time. All right, really digging this one. Really, really digging this one. Let's do our scientific cutting test here. We here we have the paper, and let's see that S35VN putting in work. Check that out. Certainly going to be a cutter indeed. Flat grind. Come on now. And we do have ever so slightly, maybe two inch cutting uh, length there, but it can definitely do some work. And this thing is just as sharp as you would expect a brand new knife out of the box to be. 
the factory edge is pretty good so it can do paper certainly no doubt about that so what about some cardboard i have some single wall cardboard right here from a diaper box got the pull-ups flavor of the week and remember when cutting cardboard don't cut perpendicular but rather at an angle like that and it was going to look something like this wow <laughs> yeah that s35 en flat grind it's going to definitely put in some work i'll tell you that much holy smokes yeah it's definitely a slicer and again yeah out of the box sharpness factory edge you guys rate it on a scale from one through ten but that felt pretty pretty good right there if you ask me definitely a cutter definitely a slicer great for edc purposes i'll tell you that right not a big uh long blade by any stretch of the imagination so i can already see this one also being pretty good for states where they have maybe like a three inch blade length law or restriction or something like that it's going to be perfect for that as well always encourage everybody to check their local laws of course but man oh man i am loving it check out the centering again it's pretty good smack in the middle the way i see autumn it sort of gives me like honey vibes i don't get the <laughs> i don't get the tri-state pp vibes i get the honey vibes so you know sort of like a honey yellow going on on here which i dig i dig really well and again the milling going on which hopefully the light is catching all right got some like diagonal lines going on which definitely add quite a bit of grip right there which is good the edges are nice and round all throughout which is good yeah this is uh really good stuff right here well there you have it guys that is the vosteed corgi pop a very very fidgety edc knife right here i'm still sort of getting the hang of it but so far i'm figuring out how to do the really snappy front flip the back flip here got to give it the beans the button lock works pretty good uh nice and locked in no blade play up and down or side to side which is good and yeah perfect edc size right uh pretty short right pretty good for people who are not very in the knife world if you will so you don't scare them away or get uh, concerned about you carrying a really large blade or something like that i feel like this one does a really good job so check it out of course this one will be linked in the description if you want to learn more if you end up thinking of purchasing a knife and you do it through my affiliate links it definitely helps out the channel at absolutely no extra cost to you but again you're under no obligation it is completely up to you that being said of course this is not a review video this is just an unboxing and first impressions of the knife so you know i just took it out of the box i should share what my first impressions were like in my experience so far i have to carry this knife for some time before i can actually give you a comprehensive review and that's exactly what i plan on doing this knife is going right into my pocket the second this video is over and in about a week time a week to two weeks time i'll be dropping a review video for you guys to check out on this guy awesome awesome edc little knife right here uh so far making a great first impressions let me know in the comments what do you want to know about this knife what kind of questions do you have, concerns, or anything you want to know? Anything you want me to take into consideration for the review video, let me know. Go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already. It really helps this video with the YouTube algorithm. And also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed. That's the best way to stay in touch with all the new content coming up that's being uploaded to the channel on a daily basis. And I would truly appreciate it. If you want to support the channel a step further, there's a link for Patreon down below. Or you can simply support the channel right here on YouTube by becoming a channel member you'll get access to exclusive perks guys if you made it to the very end you guys are the real mvps i really appreciate every single one of you for making it to the end that being said guys check out the unboxing on the mini or the full size knife shade or the mini knife shade right both pretty good interesting models also from vostein i'll put a card for each one of those right here so you can check either one or both and I hope you guys take really good care. Thank you for hanging out with me until the very end. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.